All right, got him out of the package, and uh, that's what he comes. Yeah, uh, first of all, he comes with the instructions. Basic instructions tell you how to do it. Most of the instructions are just mostly just turning the legs to get them into the wheel mode. That's mostly what they are. And nothing on the back, so that's all. It comes, that's all that these are. Comes with uh, two swords. Like uh, things that you can uh, even combine to form one big uh, sword or bow and arrow, bow arrow thing, kind of like a flying little thing here. Got the tipped of wings. I don't find that interesting. Uh, like that, just combines by a little hole here and a little peg here. Just snap them, just put them together. It's these are mostly just rubberized plastic or rubber plant or just rubber. That's how it comes with uh, two back wheel pieces that go on. There are two little holes here and two pegs here, and you kind of put them like the strain part out instead of inward with, so that when you transform it, whatever, they're ready to go. There they are. And the same on this arm. There, and you kind of get that going. And then the. Uh, a wheel base that uh, goes on the back. There's uh, three holes here and uh, two more here just to put it together onto the back. And there we are, get this in that big backpack. And then here comes this the front piece, which can also be used as a shield, like so. And if you want to, instead of having him kind of how he uh, holds his weapons, like so kind of hard to do. I mean, you can combine them, but you really can't. Unless you take these off, you can't really have them hold them. So what I usually do is just on the instruction, it even shows that you can uh, put uh, them on here. There's uh, put them on with the shoot, put his swords on with the shield. Uh, it has two holes here and hole here, so you just kind of put the wing tip down this way. And make sure you have safe and forward, of course. And you kind of get that kind of look there, and you can just slide this to, and then there's this uh, part here that comes out, go this way, or depends on whatever one you have with it, whatever you hand you hold it in, it slides both ways, it doesn't do a full round, it stops, but just kind of give it a sorty look, you know, old school, I kind of just put them on this one here, the uh, other blade, uh, get that in there and then just kind of uh, attach the thing, it just pops in there. Don't really have to slide in, just put the sword, this sword in here and to give them a sword and shield kind of look going, going on. And so that's how he looks. His head can do, a, is on a ball joint so it could do a full 360 but his uh, back part hampers it. And the way I have to stand them is like with chicken legs, because that's kind of how the only way it's going to work. You got to get like just the right angle so it'll stand. And you have to have them kind of forward up a little, just like this. And that's how. And also it comes with uh, the uh, why I mostly got this, or why you'll mostly get this, is for the uh, Tiger Jet or Jetros uh, engine cell, uh, which is purple and which is a uh, silver gray on the black and I don't know if you can tell but you can kind of see how the molten plastic kind of went into there oddly and it's very thick it's thicker than most but what you probably wanted to see is how does this work in the uh, morphers well I have the morphers right here here's the cell shift or go foam stick it in here a little tight I mean you can get it out easily but just push it in and it stays in there on its own you know you get And for some reason, it makes the uh, morphing sound in this one. It makes morphing sound, and it's pretty thick. Um, you can't tell it's very thick compared to the other one. Let me just get it like this, you can kind of see. Yeah, it is very thick. I don't know if you can tell, but it's thicker than any other one. And that's what sound it makes in this one. But now for the uh, shift changer or rev morpher. Stick in here. This one's pretty tight in here. Stick it in. Get down.
and as you can tell it makes the uh, rev up noise like most engine cells make which is odd it makes two different noises in this one it makes the morpher sound this one and the rev up in this one so whenever we get the uh, gold and silver morpher gold and silver's morpher we'll see how this uh, works out together works out but here's some since it's really thick it's hard to get in so I'm going to take Speedor here take him out put his engine cell out and put this one in. and it, it it can go in there but it just doesn't want to come out like you can you have to shake this pretty hard and you gotta pop it against your hand just to get it to come out and then you gotta get it with your nail you gotta get it with your nail okay so let's try that again put it in it can go in pretty fine but getting it out you gotta actually hit it against your hand to get it out and then you gotta like if you don't get it out far enough you have to use your nail to get it out so that's the only problem I have with this one, is getting in and out of speed ore. And that's the only problem I have. But here's Bust on, which we all know has uh, very uh, thick, is, you know, it fits in there tightly. This one fits in there easier than the Bust on one. You don't have to push in so much, but just again, and then it's the same thing coming out. And so this one's a lot easier getting in this one. And I've tried this in the other ones. I'm not going to show it because it just take too long. Um, but this is how this one uh, fits into here. So there we are. And now I will get to the uh, transformation. So you take out the thing. Take out the swords and stuff. Take the backpack off. And then holding these together. Put them together. And then flip the arms around. Kind of like going backwards like so. To get them in and just kind of like set them in there they don't actually click in so you just gotta do it like that and flip the arm around again like so push it in and then that's how you get that one in now and now you just take the uh, whole back piece here with the, each leg turn it around rotate it and rotate it again to get it into here and the same thing on this side get it in it's easy to go through the front, you know, by the front. So I'll do that, get it together, and then kind of plug it all together there. Get it all just right. Makes a completed wheel. And then just take the uh, front part in and put this in here. And that's basically what you got. And then you can store the we uh, things on here and then you can store the weapons on the back which I find very useful for storing and then just set it down here like so and then just press the little button here we are. And then it's down and then you just set it in there and just go up hold it completely different ways so it just rolls away and that's it so I would mostly recommend it just to get the engine cell and so that's my review of the Motomorph Gold Ranger. Having this master keep 3 uh signing out. Have a great day.